Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim, this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And this right here is going to be my last video of 2023. We're almost at the holiday period, so I figured, you know what? Do this video, do a good one, and then take some time out, re-energize, spend some time with my family, and then get back to it in the new year. So this will be the last one of this year, and then we'll come back in January and we're gonna hit the ground running with a lot of exciting stuff. So, I have done a top 10 lightsaber video before, but it was actually my top 10 lightsabers of the whole of the Star Wars universe, which was fun and everything, but that was like well over a year ago at this point. And I was like, you know what? It's time to do a top 10 of lightsabers that I actually own. So these ones are actually in my collection. In fact, you can't see them, but they are all laid out right here. What I have realized by laying them all out right here is that it's a really, really difficult thing to do to pick my top 10 because I'm not sure I can do these in order. Looking at them now, I'm like, oh, but I love this one. Oh, but this one's better. Oh, but this. So this is going to be kind of in order of 10 to 1. So 1 being my favorite, 10 being the least of favorite of my favorites but these are all still my favorites so let's go with that um when it gets towards the top end things start to get a little bit confusing in my melon so we'll get there though let's start at entry to uh, number 10 this one's actually a very simple lightsaber so simple it's not even installed currently i've used the internals for something else but this this is, um, this may look like a pretty basic lightsaber, and it is, it is kind of an entry level Nexus slash LGT lightsaber. But this lightsaber is one of my favorites because this is actually my first ever lightsaber. My first one into this foray of like, this is lightsabers. So this one was my first, and this was actually bought for me by my girlfriend. Um, way back when and this was a birthday present so the reason that this is in my top 10 is because it's it's what started all of this it's what even started my channel you know I was always just like oh it would be cool to to do something Star Wars but I don't know what to do it on and then I started getting lightsabers and I was like I can do reviews of lightsabers so that's why this particular one is in there it's nothing special but it is to me um Next up, we have um, the Valkyrie from Force Sabers. Uh, this uh, this was the first lightsaber I ever bought off Force Sabers, actually. Um, I saw it on their website, and I was like, oh, that's really nice. I like the, sh the um, emitter shards. And I was like, that's a little bit Calcestus. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up. This is, this is a single LED. Um, two sound board. I can't remember the name of the board. It's that old, but it's a single LED. It's red. It was my first saber that kind of like, I was like, oh, that's, that's something unique. That's something different. And this saber here is what made me fall in love with four sabers hilts. Um, so yeah, that's the Valkyrie from four sabers. Following it up closely is this the fallen prince from Force Sabers UK. This is a uh, Force Sabers version of a Cal Kestis with some major weathering on it. Now, I don't really have a lot of weathered sabers. Um, it, definitely not to this degree. But for me, this particular hill, I was like, that looks insane. Weathered to this degree with chunks taken off with half the thing missing. I was like, this is this is really, really nice. I need a weathered version because I actually had the original version of this. And then I got this weathered version and I was like, this is this is where it's at. Recently had this reinstalled. Uh, it's out now running Xeno V3, which is very, very cool. Um, so it connects to the app and all, all, the, all the other business that's going on with it. Um, I have actually fully customized this. So it's only got Cal Kestis sound fonts on it. And the UI is Cal Kestis too. Next up, we have a lightsaber from Padawan Outpost originally, and then, um, well, let me show it to you. It's the Star Killer. I love this saber. This saber is just awesome. Um, 
This has been weathered by Sheena, my good friend Sheena, SJ Weathering. She's done all the weathering on this and uh, she even painted that part to bronze so it's more correct. Um, she did a really nice job on the weathering of this. It was very, very shiny before and didn't feel super like Starkiller. Uh, like it was Starkiller's, but it was like pristine. But Starkiller's hilt has never been pristine. So while I just said I don't have a lot of weathered hilts, this one always needs to be weathered. And I think we're actually gonna we're gonna play with this a little bit more and change up the crystal inside there, take out what's in there and put in a bigger real crystal. I think that's going to be the next step with this particular lightsaber, the Star Killer from Padawan Outpost. Following on from that, again from Padawan Outpost, we have the double set of Ahsoka Fulcrums. These these are just these are just amazing. Are they not? Are they not just lovely and gorgeous and beautiful? and just everything. The angle on these is insane. The fact that it's curved that perfectly. Um, recently I saw a picture of the um, Galaxy's Edge version of these and they are massive. They're like easily that thick, like together, it's one of those. Um, but these, these are, these are, I mean, they're Ahsoka Fulcrums. I don't know what more to say. Like, they are, in my opinion, the best Ahsoka Sabres. I know a lot of people like her Clone Wars ones. I do have her Clone Wars ones, but these ones are up there as my favourites. Next up, we actually have um, an Aaron from Saber Trio. Um, as most of you will know, Saber Trio is like the creme de la creme of, of lightsabers at this point. They're up there at at the top with some other makers there, but they're definitely up there at the top. This one um, is also very special to me because it was gifted to me by my good friend, Paul, the Island Jedi. Um, he knew how much I loved this saber and he had, I think he's got about 15 of these at this point. And so he actually gifted me this um, earlier this year. So that's also like as much as it is like my favorite hilt from Saber Trio because it is beautiful. I'm a, I'm a sucker for thin necks. Uh, but it also means a little bit more because it came from him and uh, that's a big deal. This one is actually running CFX from what I can remember. Uh, the Ahsokas and the Starkiller both run in Xeno V2. Next up we have one of my newest sabers. Uh, you will have seen a review for it very recently from Padawan Outpost. It's the newest version of Kane and Jarrus. And this is just lush. It's just a lush, 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 lush saber. Um, if you want to see my review, I will put a link. I'll put a link to all of my reviews because I've reviewed pretty much every single lightsaber that's here, except the Saber Trio because I didn't particularly buy that one. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the the um, the review of this, I will put the review down just down there. This is set up with Profi. So this is a Profi Saber and um, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm hoping to add a Ezra, a new Ezra next to that. Um, I have I have some of these, like a lot of these you, you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram. I have a stairs full of Sabers. Uh, but these particular ones, some of these actually sit uh, either side of like a picture of that character or like, um, underneath so it's like a special display I have for these and Kanan is there and I'd really like to add an Ezra to put it next to it that was the first seven sabers we are now running into my top three and I'll be honest I'm not sure I can separate my top three um, like I said like these are my top ten and I love all of these uh, these three sit at the top of of the hill um, and I struggle to place them one above the other because these these three are my three favorites across the board. So we're going to start with my own personal custom set of lightsabers. Uh, you might have seen them. They're normally sat over there. Um, this one 
was made, if you've seen a recent video of mine from Size Sabres, he actually made this original version. It's then been upgraded and weathered and reinstalled by Izzy Kashyyyk Customs. She did a full new install on this particular one. Um, so, you know, it's... That this one means a lot to me because obviously it's my own custom saber. It's what I would have if I was a real Jedi. I am a real Jedi, but you know what I mean. And this was actually made by Force Sabers, by Ben over at Force Sabers, to be the counterpart to this saber. So because obviously I'm a massive fan of Ahsoka, so I had to have a, a large and a Shoto. Um, but he he went to the painstaking um, process of, of of building something that looks like it's. It's a small twin. It's like the movie Twins. They're the same, but very different. Um, this one's installed with Xeno V2, from what I remember. And yeah, this one is actually, this is a CFX, fully new installed CFX um, by Izzy over at Kashyyyk Customs. Now, next up, this Sabre is pretty special. Like I said, these 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 three that we're going for there, um, those two were, were just one because they're a set. Uh, I can't separate them. So this is also one of my favourites. The Vendry from uh, from AZ Sabres and Stony Magnum. Uh, yes, he's my friend. Yes, I will promote his Sabre till the end of time. But there's a reason I'll do that. It's because it is an amazing Sabre. This is so beautifully made. So incredibly crafted. So nicely weighted. And the sound on this Sabre... It, this is the best sounding Sabre I have in my entire collection. Hands down. Sabre trios sound amazing. This. This Vendori right here. Sorry, Vendori. I can't pronounce it. Still not to this day. Can't pronounce it properly. This is the best sounding Sabre I have in my collection. Hands down. Um, Absolutely amazing. I love it, love it, love it so much. Now that comes to the top. Of, of of the hill, top of the pile, the, the creme de la creme in my collection. Um, I said these three can't be separated, but this one might just top everything. This is my KR Eco Hero Luke um, with crystal chassis installed. Uh, this this Sabre is very, very special. For many reasons. One, this is Luke Saber. Luke is my favorite character. Uh, two, for me, this has got to be the closest to screen accurate, in my opinion. Depends on what type version of Luke's. I do have another version of Luke's. I have three. Um, but for me, this one, to me, feels like the closest one to the film. And... That's why I love it. This was also a gift from my lovely and amazing girlfriend. I actually bought me this for uh, for Christmas last year, and it's just it 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 means everything, just absolutely everything to me. It's my favorite character. It's for me one of the best looking replica sabers out there, and you know, bought by the person I love. So it it's. It's everything, you know. Um, installed, uh, it's installed Profi. It was actually installed by Ryan at Black Star Sabres. So he did the install this, but this is a KR Sabres. Um, I actually bought this from Padawan Outpost as well in their collector's edition range. So yeah, there it is. There it is. And there that is. My top 10 lightsabers in my collection. When you're sitting on about 40, you realize how difficult this is. Um, it's more than 40 at this point. I don't even know. The The other day I was, I was looking around and I just keep finding hilts just sitting around. I've got a problem. Oh, not only that, I realised the other day that I was missing a lightsaber and it turns out that I'd lent it to someone since June and I'd only just noticed that it was missing. If you can go that long without noticing that lightsaber's missing, you've got too many. <laughs> Um, it's now back in my collection. Uh, but yeah, absolutely crazy. But that's it for this video. And that's it for this year. Don't forget, I've got a 
uh, giveaway going. When I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away three lightsabers. Um, if you, I'll put a link to that video in the description below, and I'll put a link up here as well, just to make it super, super easy. Uh, we're not super far away from 2,000 subscribers at the moment. As soon as we hear that, I will be going. Uh, I'll be doing a live and giving away three lightsabers, which is absolute madness. There is also going to be a follow-up live once I've hit 2,000 subscribers where I will be watching all of the Star Wars movies live back-to-back -back in chronological order, including Solo and Rogue One. It's going to be the longest live ever. I'm not sure how I'm going to make it. But I'd really like it if everybody joined in and, and came and, and had a good time with me and, and kept me awake. Because I think I'm going to need it. And there's going to be places where I'm going to be like, hey. Um, but that's when we hit 2K. I hope you enjoyed this top 10. Which of these sabers do you like the most? What's your favorite in your collection, if you have any? Or what will be the first one you buy if you don't have any already? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to do the whole like in this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you never miss any of the videos, especially so you don't miss when I do go live and give away those sabers. Because if you're subscribed to this channel, you're like pretty much halfway to being included in the giveaway. Just have to go to that video and tell me who your favorite Star Wars character is and be subscribed and you're entered. And you can win a saber. Mad, mad, mad times. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas period, whatever it is you're doing. And don't forget, we are one with the Force, and the Force is with us.